Continuing with the Amelia Island auction coverage, this is Gooding & Company. Gooding & Company is one of the biggest sales that they have there, and no sooner do I walk in the door when I see my friends Robert and Marlo from the Kitty Land Fire Truck Rescue Adventure, and I also stumbled into this absolutely stunning Chisitalia. The colors, the details, this car knocked my frickin' socks off. I thought it was the most beautiful thing in the room, and this room was full of some of the most amazing machines that you will ever possibly see. So here's my little drool session over this green beauty, but let's get into the other offerings. Everywhere you looked, there was something interesting to see from this barn find uh, Oscar race car to a Citroen 2CV, uh, the widest variety of Porsches that you could ever possibly imagine, uh, vintage race cars. Uh, this 911 had some amazing history to it. It sold very, very well when the sale came around. Um, in any case, fantastic stuff. The one car that really brought my attention to Gooding at this sale was this 1959 Carming Ghia. Now, this is a car that I had advertised an old bug, but it was coming up for auction here at Gooding. So here it is, pulling up, getting ready for its sale. My friend Jim standing there in front of me is going to be one of the bidders. We'll see if he ends up with it. So let's watch this sale. In his day, and it's one of the best in class in every single show it's entered. That's amazing, isn't it? It is. Never come anything best, better than first. I mean, worse than first. It's astonishing. Right, and you can see, ladies and gentlemen, what an impact this common gear has had. And you're going to start me, aren't you, at $50,000. That's it. Fifty with my standing order, and I'll take fifty five. That fifty thousand moves on my right hand. At fifty. He's going to buy, fifty five, sixty thousand. Sorry, Lady Ross. Sixty. I've taken fifty five on mine. Sixty, sixty thousand. Sixty five now. Sixty five one of you. I've got sixty. Sixty five, sixty five, seventy. Seventy thousand now. Seventy one of you. And sixty five, seventy don't want. Seventy five. No, thank you many. I have seventy. At 70,000, 70,000, Lenny Ross is in at 70,000, 75 in your life, 75 on your life, 75, 80, 89, 87, many of you say 80, at 75, 80, Jimmy, 80, 85 now, 85 with the right of the block, yes sir, I see you, 85, 85, 99, 99 of you, we're all still standing, 90, I've got 85 in the room, all out, 85, 85, 85, I will sell, 90, you better, 90, got you 90, 95 now, 95 is it, at 90 we're on the left now, at 90, I'm happy to take 5, 90 on the left, it's going to be sold at 90, going away at 90, you won't get a better example, you really, 95, 100 now, 100, maybe we round it up to 100. I have 95. 95, 100, got you, sir. 100, and one five. I don't mind another tiny five. <laughs> five, one ten, sir. A quick consultation with the lady, and she said no, did she? May I say, sir? Don't ask her anymore. <laughs> She's not my friend. I like it when the ladies nod when you ask them, shall I go 110? I've got 105 in the middle here. 105 then. 105. Anybody still on the right? 105, right in the middle of the room. 105. 105 for the first time. 105 thousand dollars for the second time. Oh, come on. $105,000 for the third. 110 on mine. Last check. 115. 115? No, you really are done this time, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes. 
I've got 110 online. 110 first time. 110 second time. Oh, just one, one more. Just time. one more. Last time. Change your mind. So my friend Jim didn't go home with the Carmagia, but that did very well with fees. That was over $125,000. Um, I wandered through the rest of the cars that were there. This Ferrari was the star of the sale. That car went absolutely insane, and for a very good reason, it was stunning. Another stunning beauty was this Zagato-bodied Alfa Romeo. There's something about Zagato design from that era that is so incredible. You need to look into it if you're not familiar. There is nothing prettier than a Zagato body. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, some more amazing Porsche race cars. Um, everywhere you turn, there was something interesting to see. Uh, that crazy vet was cool. Uh, definitely badass American muscle all the way through. Uh, some more detailed photos of another one of the star Ferraris of the sale. Uh, cute little Auto Bianchi. This uh, Super Beetle was actually quite nice. Um, beautiful to see that. Some of the other cars lined up ready for their auction sale. Uh, beautiful Rolls Royce. This brass era car was spectacular. I included the boa constrictor horn on the fender, which is one of my favorite accessories of that era. Barn fine Lamborghini? Sure, might as well. A few cars parked outside as well, an Allison Dune buggy, similar to the one that I saw in the parking lot over at Works. Uh, this is a shorter version, uh, really nice looking. I think it sold for about $28,000 or so. Uh, some of the motorcycles that were up for auction went very well. Uh, let's see, hundred and forty dollars for that. Here's that Super Beetle going through, nineteen five. Uh, let's see, a BMW 507, another Carmen Ghia ended up selling for uh, really strong money for a late model Ghia. That was quite interesting to see. Massive whale tail on that Porsche. Uh, some more Ferrari goodness. Uh, it was nice to walk into the room where there weren't a whole lot of people there and to get photos of these incredible automobiles. Absolutely stellar, stellar offerings at Amelia from Gooding. A uh, whole lineup of rough Porsches. Uh, this particular one I really liked. Uh, the rough uh, GR Coupe. Um, Let's see, more motorcycles, uh, more of Charlie Ross and David Gooding. Uh, fun to see those guys. Charlie Ross, I think, is one of the best auctioneers in the business. He's very entertaining uh, to watch. His dry humor is always a treat. In any case, that's my walk around of the Gooding & Company sale. I hope you enjoyed some of the automotive treasures. Keep on digging them up and driving them.